Now taking up question number 106. Which of the following is commonly used as a vector for introducing a DNA of interest in human lymphocytes? Now in this case the four vectors given to us retrovirus, TI plasmid, PBR322 and lambda phage. Now PBR322 and lambda phage are used to transfer DNA in a bacterial cell. TI plasmid is used to transfer in a plant cell and of course in case of human cell or human lymphocyte we would be using retrovirus. So here our answer is option 1. Now let us move on to question number 107. Now according to question number 107, use of bioresources by multinational companies and organizations without authorization from the concerned country and its people is called. Now here out of the four options available, this is a direct question and the answer is biopiracy. And in our case, in there has been biopiracy where multinational companies have drawn patents for basmati rice, neem and haldi. So here we have the correct answer. Now let us move on with the question number 108. Now question 108. In India the organization responsible for assessing the safety of introducing genetically modified organisms that is GMOs for public use is. Now this is a direct textbook question and we know the answer is the genetic engineering appraisal committee that is GIAC and this is under the ministry of environment and forests. So here option 3 is our correct answer. Now let us take up the question number 109. Now question 109, the correct order of steps in polymerase chain reaction is. Now this PCR is a method to make several copies of DNA of interest or we can say it is in vitro method of cloning a DNA. Now PCR runs in cycle and each cycle has three steps which are in a particular order and that is denaturation where the DNA of interest having two strands and those two strands are separated and then a primer anneals to that and those primers are then extended to form the entire length of the target. So here our correct answer is option 3. Now let us take up question number 110. 